to walk in and really be shocked is a real treat because it rarely happens. Just on the materials and the process, the view clearly is spectacular. It's definitely a party space, no doubt about it. <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Sue Hostetler. Aldosora Ranch is a private and remote neighborhood in Telluride featuring Western-style architecture typical to this mountain town. This home departs that architectural tradition and is more like a contemporary work of art. I think that there really is a, a, a connection between the stone, the wood, the copper, and the metal. In each area of the house, the materials were put together by creating a contrast, but the contrast was usually within texture and not so much color. And I think contrast within materials and surfaces was a place that we started and tried to continue that throughout this project. to feel like each living space was extended. So as you're using a living space, say the living room, the master bedroom, it kind of extends out to a patio or out to an outdoor living space. And when you fuse outdoor living spaces with indoor living spaces, you naturally get that feeling that the room is larger, um, that you're one kind of with the outside. With the climate and the, the really fun conditions up here, the snow and the fall and the storms, you're always a part of what's happening. Now when designing kitchens for second homeowners, some of them don't cook, some of them need to cater for large numbers of people, some people like to cook. What did you do with this kitchen when you were designing this one? This kitchen, the most important feature was that it looked great from the living space in that this client doesn't cook a lot and the biggest thing was making it just beautiful and aesthetic. Now, the stove is very different looking. I wouldn't even know how to cook on that myself. Yeah, it's What's challenging to cook on it. It's a La Cornu stove. It's from France mm -hmm. and uh, they make them out of solid copper. Even though this client um, did not cook a lot, it's just the most beautiful stove that I've ever seen. Ch so, chosen for aesthetics. It looks great when you're in the living space and you're looking back at the kitchen. The breakfast area right next to the kitchen here is just gorgeous. It, you're in the views, basically. It was designed with the kitchen. Um, it was a corner that was of the house that was specifically in relationship to the architecture, in relationship to the views, and it's very cozy. Uh, I think it's probably the most used space in the house. To sit there by the fire and to look out at the views, have your coffee, and still be in the kitchen. I love a continuation of materials and in the great room there's a continuation of the floor material which is the stone and there's a continuation of the ceiling material, the recycled wood and there's a lot of glass and you really feel like you're kind of sitting in a glass box that is sandwiched between two very organic materials that feel like they came from the outside. It's my favorite part and the fireplace I think is great. 
our client really wanted to get a sense that he could just kind of go outside and that the outdoors and the indoors sort of became one. One way to make that a stronger statement was to continue the materials outside at every threshold, every ceiling, so you just see a continuation of the surfaces without any change. The general layout and direction from the client uh, was to create privacy for the owners while they're in the home. So by putting the guests on another area of the house and putting the master in one area created that privacy to begin with. So the kitchen in this house really is the hearth and the center of the home. The owners could come to the kitchen from the master without disrupting anyone and the guests in the house can come up and use the kitchen and the living space without disrupting anyone who's in the master bedroom. I really like how this bridge is laid out with the windows in the wall that look like paintings. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. the, you know, and each little individual window has a separate view of a different mountain range. The bridge is, in, the, in this whole area of the house, is really the study and the office and its relationship to the master bedroom, but it still is very, very private. You could come up here and kind of be away from the rest of the house, and there's incredible views in the office. So does the architect just create these recesses that you have to then fill, or do you guys work together? We work together, and here we created a recess and an alcove to put lighting in, and for all of the bedding and headboard and side tables to kind of fit into this niche. The exterior material on all of the eaves kind of shoots through the glass and into all of the ceilings on the inside, and it's another a uh, feature that extends each one of the spaces to the outside. The flooring going out, the ceiling material going out, and I think that again makes all of uh, these spaces feel a little bit larger. There's not a lot of need for art uh, when, when everything is, just all the surfaces are almost art within themselves.